Hey, welcome to the Bruce Show. I am your host. Thank you so much for joining us. This is a show where I talk about whatever's on my mind. And today that includes Arizona Republican Senator Jeff Flake caught with a hot mic. Keystone XL Pipeline has a spill and Bitcoin is going insane. Let's talk about Charles Manson, Argentina's Navy, and was the Apollo mission real? And to wrap it up, we're going to skip today's Trump dump and show you the top three ads of today's holiday season. That's more all coming up on The Bruce Show. Bitcoin is soaring, and if you don't know what that is, maybe it's time to check it out. Bitcoin is a type of virtual currency. That is a currency not regulated or operated by any government entity. Bitcoin itself was created by an anonymous group or individual referring to themselves as Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin is not only the name of the currency, but it also is the name of the network and protocol created to govern it. Now, if we think of this in US dollars, a penny represents one hundredth of a dollar. Now, the penny equivalent in Bitcoin speak is called the Satoshi, and it represents one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is powered by blockchain, a decentralized methodology for storing data. It is also stored in a wallet and there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoins in circulation. Two weeks ago, people freaked out because one Bitcoin was worth $6,000. Bitcoin started the year at about $800 for one Bitcoin. But this week, it started at 8 dollars thousand now some investors believe this is just a bubble but it might be the time to actually take bitcoin seriously so the keystone xl pipeline just had a leak and nebraska doesn't seem to give a crap on thursday a leak was detected in the pipeline that spilled over 200,000 gallons the leak occurred in south dakota and there was another leak in south dakota in early april now if you recall the keystone pipeline protest happened just north of north dakota it was started by the standing rock sioux indian tribe went viral and thousands joined to stop the pipeline's development. But did you know, oil spills are actually pretty commonplace here in the States. Since 2010, just under 10 million barrels have spilled from accidents, from pipelines, barges, trucks, or rail incidents. This happens all the time! And most of the incidents never get reported. If you think of the reflection pool in the Lincoln Memorial, 3 million more barrels of crude oil have spilled since 2010. Days after this latest spill, Nebraska was set to vote on Keystone Pipeline's continued expansion. This morning, it passed, and they're going to continue its development. Jeff Flake, the Arizona Republican senator, talks off mic about the party's future. Fellow Republican and Mesa mayor John Giles was joking with him about making a presidential run in 2020. And here's the actual video. Check it out. Senator Jeff Flake painting a troubled picture for the future of the GOP. He was microphone was still on after talking to constituents at a town hall meeting in Mesa. Just seconds after Senator Jeff Flake had finished a town hall on tax reform, he's still on an open mic, chatting it up with Republican ally, Mesa Mayor John Giles. Come the party of Roy Moore and Donald Trump. We, we are the post. Think how much fun it would be just to be the foil, you know, and to point out what an idiot this guy is. <laughs> A couple months ago, Flake Ash announced he was not going to run for Senate again because of the Republican Party's direction it was heading in. From Marco Rubio to John McCain, many Republicans have denounced Trump and, and this same direction of the Republican Party. And while Democrats are reeling from the Donna Brazil fallout, Republicans just really don't know how far down this rabbit hole really will go. Hey, now it's time for the Quick 3. The Quick 3 is a segment of the show where we give you the headlines and you decide if you want to research further by clicking on the source below. Argentina lost one of the subs in its Navy this past week. Begging the question, Argentina has a Navy? To learn more about the story, click the link below. Charles Manson died in jail at the age of 83. He was a leader of a cult who sprung many murders in the late 60s. Want to read the full story? See below. And one YouTuber has come out and rattled the conspiracy theorist world. He is saying that the Apollo 11, I believe, moon mission was a fake. His only evidence, a reflection in a visor that he has somehow uh, done some sort of manipulation in in Photoshop. I'm not really sure. So check out the video. See the link below. There's no Trump dumb today. It's the holidays. We got to go easy on our president. Instead, I took a look at all the latest TV advertisements coming out from the major retailers and I decided to rank them. Starting today is the time where you're gonna be lambasted by these ads, so hey, I figured I'd take a look and show you which ones are worth continuing to watch. Now before we get into the top three, here are three more honorable mentions. Number one, Cost Plus World Market, the performance.
Number two, Elf's Journey. Maybe some more tinsel and baubles yeah. and lights and oh, don't forget the tinsel and oh, and some. I love guys, tinsel. I might and crack into guys, the end calendar. Yes, please. Guys, a little focus. <laughs> Mouse, be careful. <laughs> That's it. And, and don't forget the tinsel. <laughs> Who needs them anyway? I need decorations that take Christmas seriously. Don't you come up here and say Sorry, that. Sorry, uh, enjoy your night. Season's greetings. Look at his unnecessary colour. So soft and jingly. Oh. Season's greetings. Oh. You guys are nuts. But you're my kind of nuts. Yeah, you'll be back. Pardon? Uh, I said so glad you're back. Oh. And number one, it might be a little dark, but it's a commonplace story that has a happy ending. This is Penny, and it's called The Path. Now on to the top three holiday ads of 2017. Coming in at number three, Heathrow Airport with the Heathrow Bears. Take a peek. You're the only one that I realize. A shoulder there for me to cry on. Number two is HP with Create Wonder in Your World. Thank you. 
number one is a nice retelling of a classic Cinderella story from Devin Homs in the UK. Let me tell you a story about a boy and a girl who met on a snowy Christmas evening. The girl in question was lovely, if a bit clumsy. Charming, the boy would have said. And just when he wanted to ask her name, This is me. Well, that was only the beginning of their story. After they lost each other, the boy and the girl did what boys and girls do nowadays. People were keen to help. Well, most of them. It seemed only a matter of time before they'd be reunited. Oh, no. The media even picked up on it. But like all good love stories, it was never going to be that simple. And just when all seemed lost, fate decided to step in. As for happily ever after? Well, who knows? Thank you for coming on this journey. Another fantastic episode of The Bruce Show. Thank you so much for watching. Please do these five things before you do anything else. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. If you have any questions for me, you can follow me on social media at jthebruce, Twitter and Instagram. Or if you're old school, you can send me a message, bruce at jthebruce.com. I really hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. I'm gonna take the rest of the week off, Wednesday and Friday, and not have videos. But I will be back Monday, and I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. So there's no dump Trump. <laughs> Hit it again. And to wrap it up, we're not going to do a dump Trump. <laughs> dump Trump again. Think I I was uh, afraid to make a single sound. Afraid I would never find a way out. Afraid I never be.